Hi, so um, supplementary angles. I've got a couple problems here where I use a couple different formats of um, uh, naming angles and just want to get used to the two different ways of, of naming those. And, and then we're just going to kind of explore the concept of two angles being supplementary and using that relationship to figure out missing information. So here we go. Um, start with the blues up here. Um, so we've got two angles here. Um, angle MLK and angle RQS. And this way of describing angles is based on um, their vertex, the point uh, where the two lines meet um, that form the angle, and points on the um, the rays that form the angle. So um, this angle would be called MLK. Um, it's important that you name the vertex as the middle letter. You could call this angle KLM. Um, either way, the important thing is for the vertex to be in the middle and for you to name the points on the rays that form the angle. So here's MLK um, and here's RQS or SQR if you want to call it that. Um, and so our first piece of information here is angle MLK is supplementary to our angle RQS. And you might see supplementary abbreviated like that, sup2, uh, or it might be written out supplementary. Um, so, uh, so what that means is if we add up the angle measurements of these two, they should equal 180 degrees. That's what it means to be supplementary. Okay, angle MLK is equal to 20 degrees. So based on what we're given, and I always recommend just write down and draw pictures of of the information. Write down what you know. Draw what you know. So we know that this angle is 20 degrees. Angle RQS is question mark. We don't know what that is, but we can solve for it. So since these two angles are supplementary, we know that if we add them up, they will equal 180 degrees. So let's write down what we know. Equals 180 degrees. Uh, we're going to add these two together. So we know this one. That's 20 degrees. So it's 20 plus something is equal to 180. Well, when you don't know what something is and you're dealing with angles, it's customary to just call it theta. Uh, you can call it whatever. Uh, you could call it X, you could call it M, you could call it uh, Q. Um, but it's pretty typical to call it theta. Um, just like in, in algebra, a lot of times we'll call a missing number X when we're dealing with angles, when we're living in the world of geometry, it's customary to call it theta. But you can, you can call it what you want. So 20 degrees plus theta, I should say degrees, uh, is equal to 180. So we can solve for that. Um, 20 plus what? it makes 180, um, 160. Um, or, we can solve using algebra. Um, we want to get theta by itself. It's added to 20, so we'll subtract 20 uh, degrees to get that theta by itself. Uh, we have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So 20 minus 20 is 0, so that goes away. This side of the equation is just theta, and then um, 180 minus 20 is 160. So angle RQS is equal to 160 degrees. Mystery solved. Whew. Okay, let's look at this this green problem. Um, angle F is supplementary to angle G. So another way you can just name angles is um, you just name them by a letter. So um, F does not mean this point here. F is the name of this angle here, and this G is the name of this angle here. Um, so angle uh, F is supplementary to angle G, so we know that F plus G is equal to 180. By definition, that's what supplementary means. Um, angle G is 30 degrees. Angle F is, who knows. Um, so 30 degrees plus something, F, is going to equal, let's just call it F. You could call it theta. That's conventional. Let's, let's, let's work out of the box slightly. 
um, just to make things interesting. Uh, 30 degrees plus F is equal to 180 degrees. Um, we could eyeball that and say well, 30 plus what is equal to 180. 30 plus 150 is equal to 180. Um, or we just follow the rules of algebra. Don't have to think about it too much. Um, we're adding 30, so we just subtract 30 to get rid of that. We've got F by itself over here. Since we subtracted 30 over there, we have to subtract 30 on the other side of the equation so that it stays balanced. 180 minus 30 is 150. 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 3 is 5. Uh, 1 minus 0 is 1. So 150. 150 degrees.